Hey guys, let me just make sure I have it over here so I know that everything is good while I'm doing the video. Okay, perfect. Hey everyone, I hope you all are having an amazing Monday so far. I hope your weekend was great. I have been super busy and just kind of going outside more. So it's been harder for me to get to my practice, but I'm grateful that I had a really beautiful Sunday yesterday to just work out, go to hot yoga, go to the beach, run. So yeah, anyways, I am sending love to all. As you saw from the title and the thumbnail, we're going to be getting into our upper body, strong arms, getting into some arm balances. It's just such a good way to build strength in our upper body that you can't really get from other workouts. So yeah, so I'm just waiting for a few more people to come on. I apologize, I was about to go live at like noon and it just took me a little bit longer to get set up and get ready, but thanks for those who waited and are here with me now. So, I'm gonna grab one thing over here. I always have to do things last minute. Put a little sunblock on. Don't want to be burnt. Okay, so let's get started. Come to your mat or wherever you're practicing on your shins or cross-legged and just close your eyes and let's set our space. Taking a few cleansing breaths, maybe gently moving through your neck or your spine and just observe what type of tightness that you may have in your muscles or any fatigue from the weekend. It's been very festive in LA, so it's been so hard to say no to things because there's so much going on, and that's okay. Balance, life isn't meant to have balance, so let's get this Monday started a little bit late. <laughs> you're on the East Coast, it's like the middle of the day or almost sunset, wow. All right, so close your eyes. Let's begin to just make big circles with our shoulders, starting with your hands by your sides. Making circles through your neck. Mm -hmm. And let's just move through our shoulder flexibility. So let's bring our hands to the goalpost and then we'll slowly bring them all the way down, trying to keep the elbows at a nice um, straight line, horizontal, and then go up. We're just gonna go up and down. Hmm. Moving slow, just kind of feeling through the shoulder girdles. This workout isn't meant, or it doesn't have to, it can, sorry, it can be with dumbbells or without. So I'm going to kind of show a few variations using dumbbells and of course you don't have to use them. So for this one, since I'm ready to kind of sweat today, I'm going to grab these weights I have, they're only five pounds each, but it's really good, especially when working into like the shoulder flexibility. So it forces you to use like these tiny muscles in your shoulders that you don't normally use. So we're strengthening as well as getting into the flexibility. Good, let's do five more. Thank you so much, Frank. I appreciate all the tips. Woo, okay. Coming down, 
Shake it out. Grab the clasp behind your back and just open up your chest. Nice. Okay, let's do a different type. So without the weights, um, bring your hands right by your side, your elbows by your side, and we're just going to be moving out and in. Out and in. So you'll notice that it's a little hard to go completely out to the side without opening up your elbows. So we're trying to keep the elbows in and move. So again, this doesn't need any added weight. But if you want to challenge yourself, you can grab them or even grab a couple blocks. Anything that you can kind of balance on your hands. It's such a small movement, but it's so effective. Feels amazing. Nice. Okay, let's do two more. Cool. Okay, putting the weights down. Let's just make big circles, moving backwards to start. Let's flex the hands away from us, just like we're doing a handstand. And then let's switch the direction, going forward. All right, clasping the hands, pushing the palms away, round your spine like cat pose. Then inhale to arch. Nice. Let's go back and forth five times. Inhale up, exhale round. The side. Good. All right, relax. Ooh, shake it out. Let's come to hands and knees. Okay. This here. Um, thank you for everyone. Okay. Let's see, remove. Please keep the comments respectful, as always. Okay. Come to hands and knees, and let's move through some cat and cows, arching the back, rounding the spine, just like what we just did, but now just doing the normal version in our tabletop. You can move through some circles, organic movements. If you want to move through upward facing dog to child's pose, we're just warming up the spine and warming up our shoulders and our wrists. Nice. Um, and someone asked if where I'm from, I'm from Los Angeles, Ventura. County. I'm in, in the valley. I'm very blessed to call this home. Nice. Okay, let's bring our right hand behind our neck. Open up the heart. Open up the chest. And then let's crunch it down to the middle. Let's take five on each side. Good. After you've done five, let's change sides. So we're just warming up our shoulder blades, our spine, our core. Nice. Okay, relax. And let's push our hips up to downward facing dog. This could be the first down dog of the day. You can shift your hips left and right. 
Pedal your heels. Your gaze is at your belly button or in between your thighs. So we'll go through a little twisting flow. So we're going to round ourselves to plank and then go ahead and tap your opposite ankle with your hand. So coming down, plank, and then tap opposite ankle. Just fix myself. Okay. So we're going for 10, five on each side. Make sure that you come all the way down to your plank to get into your core and also into your shoulders. I lost count, so I'll just do one more on each side. Okay, nice. Coming to a high plank, let's lower to a low plank, count of five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale for upward facing dog, gaze to the right, and then gaze to the left times. Nice. And then push to child's pose. Okay. Rolling back to hands and knees. Go ahead and extend your right foot back so your right toes are under. Okay, we're just going to open up for modified side plank. So holding here for a moment, extending through the side body. Later on, when we, do our, when we go through a flow, you can lift this leg, crunch it up if you want, or even grab for a bind. But for now, we'll just keep at the modified side plank. We're going to open up, good for gate pose, reaching the left arm back and behind. And then come back down towards your plank. Extend through for a high plank and then drop the right knee to change sides. So here we are again, modified side plank, holding here for now, and then open up for gate pose. Circle the hands down. Now we're gonna do that three more times on each side. Dropping down, open up. Again, here's where we can add on. Take a nice little kick into this top leg or go for some crunches. Whatever you wanna do, this is your Monday workout. <laughs> and then just open up to gate pose. Right? Keep moving, make sure you keep breathing as we're going through this little warm up flow. Okay. We have one more time on each side, or if you're not doing all these little add-ons, just keep moving. Keep going through both sides. It's just so fun to get out of the mind and into the body. 
one pose at a time. Ooh, okay, good. Making sure both sides are even, meeting me at a high plank. Let's go on ahead and open up the hands a little bit wider, like the width of the mat. And we're gonna go for 10 push-ups. So you can drop your knees to start. We're just doing normal wider push-ups or normal push-ups, whatever you feel like doing, just not the, the yoga push-ups yet. Try to go for the full variation if you can. Woo. After you've done 10, go ahead and push it back to child's pose. Good. Okay, we're gonna do that one more time. So one more round. Okay, rolling on forward. Starting with the hardest version if you can, and then you can drop to your knees when you feel it's necessary. And begin. Woo! <laughs> oh, so good. Push back to child's pose. And then we'll slide our chest and our hands forward. So this is directly stretching through your shoulder. Especially because we'll be getting into our forearm stands soon, like you saw from the thumbnail. All right, roll on forward. Sphinx pose, keeping your elbows planted, pulling your upper body towards your elbows as much as you can, and then relaxing the shoulders away from your ears. Again, gaze right and left. Nice little stretch in the neck. Nice. Oh, good. Okay. Come on up to an elbow plank. Now we're going to be going through some dolphin push-ups. So you can either walk your feet towards your elbows and then walk them back to begin, or you can just push back through your elbows and through your shoulders for our dolphin push-ups. Whatever you need today. So again, you can walk, Come forward if you don't really have the shoulder flexibility yet. But let's just go through 10 more. So keep it going, keep breathing. Make sure your elbows don't go away from each other too much. Try to keep them right below your shoulders. Woo, okay. Try to push yourself up to your palms, pushing to downward facing dog. And then let's just walk our hands back to meet our feet, moving through a halfway lift <sighs> and fold. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, flat back. Remember, relax your shoulders away from your neck. Try not to be stiff and then fold. One more. Good. All right, sitting down to a chair, inhale the arms forward, swing right arm behind you, look back. Inhale, look forward, exhale, change sides. Let's do that two more times. Last time, each side. Nice. All right, now we're gonna pull our elbows back, so we're actually Kind of like doing a lat pull with our elbows wide and we're coming onto our tippy toes. We're gonna do that 10 times. So drop the heels, reach forward. Exhale, pull back. 
Inhale. Exhale. If you want to grab the weights, you can. Instead of pushing completely forward, you're actually pushing down and then lat pulling back. Let's do three more. Woo! And forward fold. Drop the weights if you use them. Come into ragdoll. Bounce your hips up and down. Bend your knees, grab opposite elbows, and then sway side to side. Relaxing your neck completely. Nice. All right, inhale, flat back. Exhale, walk out to downward facing dog. Here's where we begin to flow. So right leg lifts, bend the knee open. Okay, look past your armpit. Let's squeeze right knee, right tricep. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, squeeze across the body, left tricep. Inhale up. This time, squeeze knee to nose, hold, and step the foot inside of your hands. Inhale, crescent warrior. Exhale, lightning bolt. Reach the arms forward or behind you. Again, inhale, crescent. Exhale, lightning. One more time, inhale. Exhale, reach forward. This time, drop the back heel. Open up, reverse warrior. 90 degree angle in the front knee. Reach the arms forward. Elbows on the knee. Side angle, or you can drop down to the mat. Nice. Drop the hand, the left hand down inside of the right foot. Open it up a lot. Let's take five. Um, lizard push-ups. So we're pushing down and pushing up. Let's do 10. I don't know if I said five or 10, but I, I wanted to do 10. Woo! All right, try to hold as low as you can. You can open up for horizon if that's what's calling for you right now. Good. All right, drop the hand, walk all the way over to a wide-legged forward fold. Take a nice little fold, and then we're just walking to the back of the mat, stepping the front foot forward for pyramid. So instead of keeping our hands down, we're gonna try to bring prayer behind the back. Do you guys have that? All you have to do is try to flip the palms, bring them together, and fold. This is also getting a really good shoulder blade stretch. Nice. All right, release the arms. Step this left foot back. You can keep it lifted or just plant it and go through vinyasa. Add a push up or two if you want. Meet me in downward facing dog. Whew. Okay, let's change sides. So. We're at the back of the mat, that means left leg will lift. Bend the knee open, big back bend. Oh, let's go for the knee squeezers. Same tricep, inhale up, exhale, right tricep. Knee to nose, hold, and step it through. All right, inhale, crescent, exhale, lightning. Hovering over this leg. Going for three more times. Right, last one. Open up, reverse warrior. Reach forward, extended side angle. Nice, and then drop this hand, open up. Lizard pose, let's go for those 10 lizard push-ups and begin. Nice. 
Nice. Ten. Holding lizard. We're opening up for horizon. Big hip stretch. Nice. Great. Drop the hand. Walk on over. Quick forward fold through the middle. And then walk to the front of the mat again. Step the foot up a foot. Taking the reverse prayer in our pyramid. I'm glad to see that we haven't had any technical difficulties so far. Hopefully it's not freezing. All right, re release the hands, inhale. Exhale, shoot the foot back, go through a couple push-ups, through upward facing, to downward facing dog. Okay, we're gonna change it up here. So inhale, tippy toes, look forward, bend the knees and step or hop right to chair pose. This time at the front of the mat. Okay, going through our twists, three times on each side. Nice, okay. Going for those little pulls, but this time instead of the elbows out, we're actually gonna pull a normal like lat pull with our elbows in, reaching forward and then squeezing. Again, you can do this without any weights where you're just bringing your arms forward or you can grab some little dumbbells and make it more difficult. You can bring it down and kind of you know, do pulling up or try to reach forward. Squeeze the core a lot to protect the low back. Woo, I don't know how many that was. Let's just do two more. Nice. Release into a forward fold, moving the weights. All right. We're gonna go through our flow one more time, but way quicker this time. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant or shoot it back. Move through vinyasa to down dog. Right leg lifts. So right away, tap. Knee to nose, step it through. Crescent warrior to lightning bolt. Keeping super low in your legs. Nice. Last one. Reverse your warrior. Side angle to our lizard push ups. Okay. Nice. Open it up, walk it through the center, quick forward folds, right to the back, pyramid. This time we're just gonna hold pyramid and then step it back. Okay, change sides, left leg, go for the taps. You know where we're going, inhale, to hover three times. Nice. Reverse. Two side angle. Two lizard. Add the push ups. Strong, lean upper body, okay? So really try to put your weight into your hands. This is also getting into the hips like crazy. Okay, nice, walk it over, wide-legged, pyramid for a breath, nice, and instead of going through a chaturanga, let's just step the left foot forward to meet the right, sitting nice and low for our chair, let's make our way down to the mat, the count of five, four, three, two, and one, lifting up, 
for Navasana, boat pose. Move the fleshy part underneath your seat, lifting your legs up, either keeping your knees bent or straighten them. Hover your arms beside you. Okay, and again, no weights, or if you want to challenge yourself, grab the weights. We're going to be doing presses. So press up and come down. So if you're not using weights, it looks like this. Either have a fist or arms open. Okay, I'm gonna use the weights because why not? It's Monday. Okay, let's go for 10 more. Nice, release, open up to a butterfly and fold over your legs. <sighs> How do you guys feel so far? I hope you feel good. I'm gonna move the weights. We're gonna go through one more little warm up flow and then we will get into our inversions. So let's come to down dog. Let's see. <sighs> Glad to see you're here again, Jay Tucker. Um, and Frank, you will get there, don't worry. Okay. Okay, ready? Come to down dog. Let's inhale, right leg up. Keep the hips square this time, even flex the foot down. Squeezing the butt, squeezing the core. And then let's step the right foot through, right into um, a low lunge. Inhale up, Anjane Asana. Okay, so we're really getting through our hip flexor. Inhaling up and try to go for a slight back bend. Reach your arms up to the sky while still breathing and dropping the hips lower. Keeping yourself hovering, let's swing the arms back. You can bring your hands to your hips to half split. This is also a balance pose, balance challenge. Nice, okay. Bend back into the front leg, inhale back up for Navasana. I'm sorry, <laughs> for Anjaneyasana. And then this time we're gonna drop the right hand down and go for a slight side bend. If you can't quite reach the ground, you can use a block or your weight to hold on to. Good. Nice. Last time, straighten through the front leg. Fold now with your hands on the ground. And then you're gonna open up and kind of fold through the center here and drop the hips. You can even go for a slight little side bend. It's a funky little stretch. Okay, and then we're gonna change sides. So walk yourself forward. Okay, step it back. Push it down dog or go through a vinyasa. Okay, changing sides. Lift the left leg up, keep the hips square. Flex the foot to the ground, push through your hands like crazy. Okay, fingers are nice and wide. Then go ahead and step it through. Anjane Asana. Okay, reaching up. Dropping through this hip flexor. Slight back bend. If you want to go for a big back bend, you can even lift on the toe. And then float yourself back, half split. Hovering over your left leg. Inhale, Anjane Asana. And go for the side bend. Drop the foot. Drop the hands. Use a block. Or a weight if you did so on the other side. Nice. Dropping forward one more time, half split. Then open up, drop through the center. Even go for this little twist. Okay. Walk yourself forward. Okay. okay. Step it back, go through one more chaturanga if you'd like, and then push yourself back to child's pose. Okay, so now we're gonna get into our forearm stand. So we already did a few of the 
dolphin push-ups. Let me just change this. Okay. So I'm gonna show you guys. Let's work through our forearm stands. If you wanna, if you don't have the forearm stand, you can also work headstands or even go against a wall. So let's take five more dolphin push-ups coming to your forearms, pushing up to dolphin. Okay. And actually let's do it differently than before. So lift your left leg back and we're going to come forward, almost touching your nose to your hands and then push back up. Dolphin push up, one legged, five times on each side. So that's three, four, five, change sides. Nice, okay. Take a break if you need, push it back, come to dolphin, I'm sorry, uh, come here. Hips are above your knees, puppy pose. I'm already pretty tired, <laughs> forgetting what poses are called. Okay, now let's try the real thing. So, coming back to that dolphin, whichever side you feel comfortable on, I like to lift my left leg left leg. I'm going to bend the bottom knee and kick. Okay, you can take a few kicks if you don't get up there. But all that matters is as soon as you get up, you're pushing through your shoulders. I like to bend both of my knees into a stag and keep your chin lifted. So it's a big back bend as well. Once you get really confident, you can push through for hollow body. And make any shapes you want. Coming down slowly. Good. Okay, take a quick little child pose. Nice. All right. Let's do one more time. And this time, try the other side. So if you did your better side right now, try the other side because it's not good to not have both sides down because then you have like imbalances in your hips or whichever part of your body. So I'm gonna try the other side. I'm gonna face this way so I'm away from the sun. You can also try different ways to get up. You can open up your hips a lot to that wide-legged forward fold. And then from here, whichever side, you can even bend the knee and open or even drop your head to kick up and then lift from there. Whatever is good for you. But just make sure you try your, your other side. You can try to go to straight legs, to straddle, to pup, er, <laughs> froggy pose. Woo! And then come down slow. <sighs> release into child pose. You can go ahead and grab your ankles and roll on the top of your head. Big little forward fold. Nice. All right, sit on forward. We're gonna go for a nice forward fold. Hold it for like 10 to 15 breaths since we just did a lot of back bends. So inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward folds. Keeping your toes flexed to begin. Releasing your upper body, but try your best not to round too much. Try to keep your spine nice and long and flat. You can go ahead and change to point your toes. Go back and forth. Mm. Nice. All right, roll up slowly. Let's come on to the back. 
and move through a couple spinal twists. Ah, bring my clip up higher. Ah. First, just give yourself a big hug. Rock side to side, massaging your low back. And then let's drop the knees over towards the right, shifting the hips over to the left, and then gaze to the left. <sighs> Moving to a more yogic breath, slowing it down, and just letting gravity do its work. Decompressing the spine. Awesome. Okay, let's change sides, come through the center, shifting the opposite way, and gaze to the right. Nice. I just saw like two butterflies in the sky. I see a bunch of bees and I'm getting used to them. Not too much <laughs> as scared as I was. All right, bring your feet to the sky. Just point and flex through your ankles. Keeping your eyes closed. Bend your knees open, bring your toes to touch. Move through a quick happy baby, grabbing the tops of your feet. You can shake side to side. Pushing your low back to the mat. Nice. Straighten through your legs again up to the sky, then bend them in, grabbing your shins, wrapping around your thighs, and giving yourself one last big hug, squeezing everything from your face muscles to your feet. Big inhale, big exhale. Let's do a little Shavasana. I normally don't do Shavasana in my lives, but why not? Coming to our last resting pose. <sighs> Rest. You want to pause the video and have a longer shavasana feel free otherwise you can begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes reawakening yourself for the rest of your monday making your way up to a seated meditation however you'd like hmm. Nice. Hmm. <sighs> I hope you guys liked today's live video. I hope your upper body feels nice and strong and toned. Let me know if you want more of these, more inversions. I know I have a lot of beginners that watch, but I also like to teach for people that want to get more advanced in their practice. Um, 
just looking through. Thank you so much, Frank, for letting me know that today was smooth, no technical difficulties. Thank you so much for all of my supporters. Thank you guys so much. And yes, this was a live video. Yoda. Nice. Thank you guys so much. <sighs> okay, I'm sending you guys off with love and light. Just a quick little um, quote to end the day. I got this from my yoga teacher that I got trained under. Um, if you are experiencing, um, if you're experiencing depression, you're living in the past. If you're experiencing anxiety or you're anxious, you're living in the future. But if you are happy, you are living in the present moment. So take that today with you. And remember to be present, focus on the present moment, what you're grateful for right now, and you'll be much happier, I promise. All right. Namaste, everyone. Thank you so much. I will be posting more on my feed this week, and I'm going to make sure I go live on Wednesday. So I will see you on Wednesday. I might even go live with my friend Shannon tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Um, I'm going to be teaching her some YouTube stuff. She wants to get on it like me. Um, but, yeah, so make sure to tune in if I go live tomorrow. And, yeah, bye, guys. Have an amazing rest of your Monday.